morning, YouTubers. <laughs> I probably don't want that. Let me see. Everybody. Welcome to Woodworking Life number 28. We're going to start off with some shop shots of Justin sanding a bar top that we're working on. Beautiful ambrosia maple using the Festool sander. I get on the sawmill, cut some beautiful lumber. Sebastian joins us up there, so there's some incredible footage of that. Stay tuned, you're going to see that coming up. And a frequently asked question, do I dress, do I sand wood for other people? So enjoy the vlog. We have a wide belt sander, so sometimes we'll take the epoxy pieces and go right to the wide belt sander. Yeah, I think that one would be what I'm kind of looking for. Yeah, so a little bit slower process. We have a minimum on that, which is a full hour, uh, which is 240, and it will come out uh, about 120 grit. Okay. Perfectly okay. flat and really, really nice. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to think if it's worth doing that or if I should, because so if you guys have a minimum, like I have another piece as well that I'm going to be doing a dining table, I guess it's probably worth bringing them both at the same time. That's correct. Yeah, I would think so. Okay. Um, all right, Paul, I'm going to get back to you, but I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for the call. Right. Thanks, Paul. Have a good one. Bye-bye. So that's a common question I get asked now that we're producing these vlogs and all the Instagram stuff. You woodworkers are noticing I have a 53 inch wide belt sander as well as a 37 inch jointer planer. So a very common question is, hey, will you sand my piece or will you dress my piece? And the answer is yes, but you do have to contact me and we do got to get it set up because it's not, uh, it's not the main part of my business, but I like lending a hand with that equipment. So give us a call, give us an email, give us a text, give us a DM, all those things work. All right. <laughs> Having some changes around here. Steve uh, actually moved out west. Oh, okay. e English Steve. Right. So he was kind of managing all my yeah, client relations. Kind of... He was my main go-to guy, definitely. <laughs> Hopefully the microphone's on because I left it off yesterday. <laughs> I filmed the whole f whole f***ing day. Uh, no. No audio. So it's kind of neat though. He has an all B-roll run with like nice music and stuff yeah. for the for the video. So it's all good. And I, I had a full-time guy with my lumber company too, Mitch. The uh, Mississauga shop going good? Mississauga's good, yeah. Yeah, we got a sales guy down there, Rob. He came in he came in yesterday. The wood's turning out beautiful. Check it oh, out. Look at that. That's through the, that's CNC. That's CNC. Yeah, because yeah. it's a bit wide, that one. I can do 37 through that bad boy. Right. That's nice. Holy crap, it's looking good up here, man. Yeah, it's okay. We got a molding <laughs> molding machine now. Oh, really? So we can do tongue and groove. Awesome. Uh, ship lap, you know, all, all that all that stuff. Awesome. We oh, did, and you're doing the... Uh, we just did 10,000 square feet of, yeah, the Sujiban siding. Awesome. So that was good, the ship lap. Have you come up with, like, a cost on that, or...? Yeah, yeah, I have full cost. We're going to awesome. get it online. And we have samples, too. So if you want to take, like, a set of samples, you can you can have them to show your potential clients. So we got hey, some. I'm... Oh, that's great. Getting the firewood, always firewood, yeah. Like she's still burning, it's cold at night. It's still cold at night here, yeah. And it just regulates through the through the floor, right? When it hits a certain temperature, it just doesn't burn anymore. It's kind of nice. Get on the sawmill again, hopefully oh. today. So we had a big sale here, single piece of barn board. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
There it is. We don't actually usually sell barn board, but we do stock it. Uh, sometimes we get uh, larger orders and we can bring it in for you. But uh, Ben's just working down the road and he's got some barn board here and he did a little fishing in the racks and he yeah. found one. Always find stuff at Paul's place. Check out the mounting system he's got going on. Yep. Matrix all the way. <laughs> nice. <laughs> cool, Ben. Right on. Thank you. Thank you. Right on. You filming? Yep. He's filming. <laughs> okay, everybody, we did have a winner in the Chill Epoxy giveaway, 30 liter deep pour kit, plus a bunch of other swag, some pigments, all from Polymer Technology. Thank you for doing that, and thank you for partnering with me on this giveaway. This is who won. Check it out. Zach underscore Ninemeyer. So that's the winner. It was actually an Instagram follower, uh, but just to let you know, the way we did this was we assigned everybody a single number and then we used a random number generator, which generated a random number, and that was his number. So that's how we picked everybody. So everyone was included from here on YouTube, as well as all our Instagram followers. And congratulations to Zach Ninemeyer. We got some chilled epoxy coming your way. Thanks everyone for entering. Really, really awesome. Appreciate all the comments. And good luck next time. I'm sure we'll have some more giveaways coming up. So until then, see you later.
man. Full day saw milling. I'm gonna tell you something. Wood is very heavy. Woo. It's pouring rain outside, but we still cut a lot of wood. This is the end of the vlog. Thanks for watching everyone. Comment below, let us know what you thought. Smash that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe. Until next time, have a good one.